Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hayden, and today I'm here back again with Tech News Monthly. First of all, Windows 11 event is today, June 24th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a event, event to show you what the next Windows will look like. Um, it is supposed to be Windows 11. I've seen leaks of it. It looks more like a Mac OS meets Windows 10 kind of thing. I'm not a huge fan of it. However, Windows 11 is supposed to come out later in October. And today's event will showcase what it looks like and the new features. For me, I think I will just stay with Windows 10 until I see what others think of Windows 11. Next up, I would like to talk about the graphics card shortage. As of June 24th, we are still in a huge graphics card shortage along with the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Um, people are really starting to get annoyed at this point. We've already had to deal with something like this because of Bitcoin. I think a few years ago, nobody can get their hands on a new graphics card whatsoever because scalpers and bots are buying them at SR MSRP and selling them for double the amount of money that they are worth. And it is getting very, very annoying. Now, one of the reasons for this is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency, just like stocks that goes up and down 24-7, seven days a week. And you can mine Bitcoin with graphics cards. And people buy about five to about, I think, eight or nine of them at a time and use them on their mining rig to mine Bitcoin. And that's why graphics cards right now are worth an incredible amount. I bought my RX 580 in 2018 for, I believe, like 220 Now it's worth around $400 um, just because of Bitcoin alone. But it seems like it's starting to get a little bit better. Hopefully it does. Currently, Bitcoin is at about $33,000 a coin. Earlier this year, it was at about $50,000 a coin, making all the prices of graphics cards go up. Now, the last thing that I have found out recently is John McAfee. If you are familiar with the word McAfee, you are probably aware that there's a McAfee antivirus software out there to prevent you from getting software viruses on your computer. Now, this was created by John McAfee. Now, recently, he's actually been found dead in a Spanish prison in Barcelona. Um, it is believed to be suicide. Um, I don't really know much about him. I never really knew about him until now. But he was the creator of the McAfee virus software. Um, he's had issues in the past with being arrested. He was also known to be as a cryptocurrency promoter. Um, his family and him have had a little bit of history with police. He was also arrested in 2012 because of drug and firearm charges. I am very upset to hear the news. I didn't know that he was really a suicidal person. But he died at the age of 75 in a Spanish prison. Which is very, very sad, honestly. But now, that's really all I have for you guys for Tech News Monthly, June 2021, yet again. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you want to see my future content, and I will see you guys in the next video.